Now, what's the advantage? Uh, because we've talked on the air about you being a direct diamond merchant and, and having the loose diamonds, so you have so many more right. than everybody else. How is that an advantage over some of the other places? Well, you know, we deal right with the cutter. Uh, okay. And so you, uh, you, you can you cut out the middleman. So mm -hmm. there's you know, a lot of brokers in the business, and a lot of times the diamond will go through several hands before it winds up at, uh, sure. at the, re the retailer or the consumer. Mm -hmm. So the fewer hands that can pass through, the, usually the, uh, the better the value you can get. Now, do you have any, uh, you deal right with the cutters, do you have any say-so? Do you ever see them like this and have any input into what you would like them to look like, or is that strictly up to the guys, the no, experts you, who do you, the you, cutting? You, yeah, you don't... Uh, you don't tell the, the doctor how to, how to do the back. <laughs> You'd get kicked out of the room at that point, David. We don't need you in here. That's We're the right. cutters. Mind your own business. Is that that's, the kind of thing? That's right. I mean, it, uh, that's an area that you you leave to the experts. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and see, that's the that's the nice thing about your place. Uh, it's all based on expertise. You're an expert in what you do. You rely on the cutters who are experts in what they do. Right. Uh, your salespeople here are experts in what they do. So when people come in, they're going to deal with people who know exactly what's going on and can answer all your questions. You know, that's the best part about it. Yeah, so. we don't pressure. I mean, we, uh, we, what we try to do is, uh, what I like to tell you is what I would like to know if I was in your shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is no secret. Uh, yeah. It's just that... Uh, People don't talk about it enough, so the, the no. consumer doesn't get educated. Yeah. You know? Well, and that's why I wanted to. That's why I wanted to come in and and, and do the video because I had no doubt, no idea about any of this stuff uh, that you told me about where they come from and the fact that in some places they're just laying out on the beach and stuff, or anything about the cutting. And I'll show you. I'll show you these again. Such beautiful pieces, and I got to tell you, uh, you know, that. Heart star is just absolutely amazing, yeah, and, and it's all it's all because of the cut, right? Yeah, they're beautiful. I mean, you you, you don't. I'm not sure if this will show up on your camera or not, but you don't need the bright showcase lights. You know, if you if oh no, I can see that pretty clearly. Move your tweezers just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see it sparkle. Yeah. I mean, those, it's like seeing a large star up in the sky almost. See, when the, when the diamond is cut, it's designed to, to so that any light that strikes the surface. Mm -hmm. Is directed to the bottom of the stone, and it's like a kaleidoscope. Those those facets have to be aligned perfectly with one another, yeah. and then it bounces off each side and comes back through the top. That is just amazing how they do that. It's just incredible that it goes that it goes from that chunk right to that, uh, just because of a guy. What do they use now to cut a diamond? Another diamond. Another diamond, right. okay. That's yeah. the only thing that's hard enough to do that? That's right. It's just incredible that they can take that and, and make that like that. And that, that you end up to uh, getting to put it in a ring or a necklace or, or whatever, or you can just come in and, and take a look at the ones that are already here. You've got a wonderful selection when you come out to the castle. Uh, that's David Faircloth right there. As a matter of fact, it's David Faircloth Fine Jewelers.